Today, we're gonna talk about how to get started building your personal brand before you launch your online course. So we got a special guest, Anthony Banderas, the Will Antonio in the house. Antonio! So personal brand's super important, isn't it? The most important. And why is that? You know, there's uh, there's a couple reasons. Uh, the most important thing that you need to know is that when before you launch your online course, you have to look at what's going to happen when you do launch your online course. People are going to be looking into ba your background. Exactly, they're, they're going to search gonna be, your name. Yeah, they're going to be looking at who you are. And, who are you? And how are they going to do that, Johnny? They're going to go into Google and they're going to type your name and hopefully good stuff shows up about you. But a lot of times it doesn't, right? Exactly right. But think about this. What if you launch your online course People know who you are, they search for your name on Google, and nothing's there. Why would they buy from you? What? They probably won't, and that's what we're gonna go into today, but first, we got a free masterclass for you to help you develop your online course or e-learning program in 90 days or less. And we've been doing this for a long time, so we're gonna help you in that masterclass save at least $10,000 in your development process. So check out that link, link right below this video in the description and get all your answers there. Sounds great, Johnny. So what is the first point we're gonna go through today about building your personal brand before you launch your online course? We're gonna be talking about building a professional website. All right, and why is that important? Building a professional website for your brand is incredibly important for two things. One, it is your front face to the world. It is what everyone's going to see when they first search for your name on Google. It's gonna have your background, everything that you wanna promote, and really it's a chance to add credibility and start building your reputation. The other thing that's really important to note is that when you build your own personal website, you can very likely rank that website at the top of Google search results relatively quickly. Obviously there's a, you know, a bit of factors involved in, in determining that, but if you build a website with enough great content about your background, it includes your name and the title tag of the website, and you have a biography, typically those sites will rank really well in Google search results. And you have control over it, right? So you have control over what's on your professional website. So we go back to that example of, you're trying to sell your online course. They figure out who you are, you're promoting yourself, your name, and then people search the internet and nothing shows up, how are they gonna buy? But, if you take control, you buy your domain name, right? So step for, one. Right, step one, buy your domain name. So for me, it'd be johnnyhavey.com, jonathanhavey.com, all these different ones. I own all of them, by the way, so don't try and steal them from me. <laughs> and once you do that, when they search your name, that website's gonna show up and you have control over the messaging on that website. Absolutely, and I, th I think it's really important to give you some some uh, feedback on where to even start, you know, searching for a doma domain name. You've probably heard of GoDaddy. Uh, GoDaddy is by far the most popular domain registrar. You can go ahead, type in whatever domain you're looking for, typically your first name, last name, .com, or some variation of that, and you can typically buy your domain for a couple dollars, uh, if that. When it comes to building your personal and professional website, there's a number of high quality uh, AI driven software solutions out there that basically will allow you to drag and drop uh, and build your own website very easily without any sort of technical knowledge. And you don't need any coding knowledge or anything like that. You can build beautiful websites within a day. And what are some of those? <laughs> I would say the number one choice that I would recommend, probably Squarespace. Squarespace. You can't go wrong with Squarespace. If you want to get a little bit more advanced, you should look into WordPress. They have a lot of great templates there as well. The, the value of WordPress, they have something called plugins, where basically if you need a specific tool, say uh, calendar integration, or you need to build specific forms, or you want specific fonts, WordPress has plugins that you can download all, or, for, all for free. Or if you want to integrate an LMS into WordPress, you can get the Learn Dash there plugin. You go. There and you that go. plugs right into your WordPress website. You can also use Kajabi. Right, Kajabi, Great that's platform. where that's where our website is, that's where all of our courses are. So if you're looking to build a personal brand around your course, 
we recommend Kajabi. Link below the video for a 30-day free trial. You get a 30-day free trial when you use our link. We just go to kajabi.com. They're only going to give you 14 days, so you may as well use our link. Your second part of building your personal brand is your social profiles. I'm sure you're all very familiar with the largest social profiles out there that everybody knows of Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. One of the first things that you need to do when you're building your personal brand, you need to claim your social handles. And what I mean by that is your social handle, not only is it the representation of who you are and how people search for you on these social profiles, but the handle itself can also make sure that your profile ranks highly in search results for your name. The ideal social handle for building your personal brand is gonna be your first name, last name .com. So it's the same thing, right? So we have our domain exactly. name and our social profile. 100%. And these are also what we call in the SEO world, web 2.0s. Exactly right. And there's gonna be a lot of people that go through this activity and go to claim their handle with just their first name, last name, and they'll quickly realize that it's taken. Crazy. Don't freak out. Go do it. Don't freak out. If you have it, but what do you do if that happens? Yeah, so what you wanna do is look at a variation of your name. So that can be your first name, middle initial, last name. It okay. can be your first name, last name, official. Your first oh, name. Oh, that's a good one. Your first name, last name, course. Anything that oh, would make sense that's a really good idea. for your, your target audience, you can go ahead and claim that variation. But the most important piece of the personal brand, make sure your first name, last name is included within the handle itself. So a question for you, Anthony, what if my first name, last name is taken on Facebook, but it's not on Twitter? What do I do? Like, does that affect where, how I show up? Like, should I do Johnny Havy on Facebook, but Jonathan Havy on Twitter? What do I do? Fantastic question, Johnny. What you should not do is have different handles okay. across social profiles. What you are essentially building is your entire online identity. And that identity should be uniform and consistent around every social profile that you can claim. So if there is not a Johnny Havy, for example, available across all profiles, you're gonna to wanna to find a variation that is, and that's gonna be in your best interest. The great thing, Anthony, is not many Johnnies spell their name without that an H. That is very true. And if they do, their last name isn't Havy. So I'm pretty set. I think you're set. Yeah. Number three, you need to set up Google Alerts for your name and for your course name. And tell us about that, like what are Google Alerts? Why do we need to do this? Absolutely, so what you need to understand is as you grow your course, especially as you become more popular, it's very likely that it's not just you talking about your course. You're gonna have people leaving comments, mm. leaving reviews, maybe posting on blogs, and you need to be aware what people are saying about you, your brand, and your course at all times. The easiest way to make sure that you are staying on top of everything that's being said about your personal brand and your course is by leveraging a service that's completely for free by Google called Google Alerts. The first step and getting a Google Alert for your name is literally go to google.com, type in Google Alerts, it will be the first link that pops up. Click on that, you'll see a search bar that comes up where in that search bar, you're going to type in your first name, last name, your course name, and any other keywords you wanna track. Should we put our handles in there too? I think so. Right, so whatever that handle is. A but probably every variation, right? A every, every variation. In this case, you want every variation. You're not just looking for that uniform name. You want the variations, because who knows what people are gonna call you. Exactly right, exactly right. That's a great point, John A. So again, 100% free, takes literally no more than 60 seconds to set up. And the way that Google Alerts operates is once you have your keywords set up, Anytime those specific keywords are mentioned literally anywhere on the internet, That's you're going to get an alert, Johnny. Am I, I'm going to get an email? You're going to get an email. You're going to get an email. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. And anytime you see an alert come through, you want to check it out because there might be an opportunity. Someone might be interested in your okay. course and you're going to That's a good idea. It could be a lead. It could be a lead. I have to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> on the flip side, it could be something that 
unfortunately might be negative. That, yeah. that and you, you want to address that it. That you want to right address. Away. Correct. So highly recommend Google Alerts. That was awesome. <laughs> so the fourth thing you need to do is when you launch your course, you need to announce the launch through a trusted medium. And there are multiple ways to do this. Rattle them off, Anthony, what do we got? I gotta say, I think the most important and valuable way to announce the launch of your course is through a press release. That's for two reasons. Press releases, as you might be aware, the way that these press release distribution channels operate is once you submit your press release, it, get, it gets picked up by hundreds of different news sites around the United States and globally. The value of that to your brand is that the press release is very likely to rank highly in search results mm. for both your name and your course name. And with your press release, what you can expect is that your press release, if you go through the right distribution channels, which we'll get into very shortly, your press release will be picked up by Fox News, ABC, NBC, and all wow. the local affiliates. So what that means for you is, by being listed and featured on these particular websites, it's an instant credibility builder. What the recommendation is, once your press release is launched, you can actually have an as seen in logo on your website Boom. that lists out every site that is credible and well known that you have now been technically featured on. And you've had a lot of success with that, with reputation resolutions, yeah. with that as seen in. Absolutely, we, we do it for every client campaign that we take on because the press releases have so much value for what our clients are looking for, which is building and enhancing their online reputation. Now, what you need to know is there's a handful of really great press release distribution channels okay. that you should probably look into. These are the same pre press release distribution channels that I'm our own company uses. I'm gonna get a special color, or do you want to write it Here you go. All right, I got a special color. Special color. What do we got? I would say the best value and the most affordable press release that you can find that accomplishes all the goals that we've talked about today is called EIN. E-I-N, like the tax number. Correct. <laughs> the CPA is coming out, Johnny. E-I-N has one of the best press release distribution channels out there, and it won't cost you more than right around $100. for Hundred doll hairs. Please don't quote me on that, but that is the last price that I recall. And the other great press release distribution channel is another website called PR Web. They've been around for an incredibly long time. They have great relationships with all you know major media outlets as well as local news publishers. PR Web is going to be a little bit more expensive, but still is great for your personal brand because it does rank highly in what search results. What do we results. think? How many bones? Yeah, I think a couple hundred dollars okay. is, is fair to say. We'll say um, three hundred just to yeah, be safe. Yeah, three hundred is 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 fair. Plus. Yeah, so if you are considering launching that press release, those are going to be certainly the two recommendations. And PR Web, what is the benefit of spending 300 or more versus spending 100? Great question, Johnny. It really comes down to credibility and brand recognition. Going back to what I said previously, one of the main values of press releases is you want to associate your name with well known household names in the media, like the Fox News, ABC, NBC, etc. So by uh, extending your budget and getting on say PR web at the higher price point, you're gonna have association with even more well-known brands that you can then leverage on your website. And that makes sense. the as seen in <clears throat> is incredibly important. Every it's just instant credibility. So we go it, back to like yes. the beginning of this, right? The professional website. They search your name, you pop up. Then at the top in the hero image, so the top part section of your website, it says Johnny Havy as seen in Forbes. Yes. And you're like, I want to buy that course because Johnny Havy's on Forbes. I search Hector Samudis. And it's like, oh my God, Hector Samudis, entrepreneur on fire. I want his course. 100%. <laughs> what should they do, Anthony? Should they like and subscribe? They should like and subscribe. They should like and subscribe and check out our free masterclass. Of course. Because you're going to learn how to develop your e-learning program in 90 days or less and save $10,000 in the process. We'll see you in the next video. See you then.